Well, halfway in uh, Washington, D.C., I guess lights are out because they change engines or something like that. And so, boy, hey, you know, I missed my fasting day on Monday. That's the big problem. Hmm. I can't explain it. And it's, it, it, was, it was an issue, not an issue. Uh, so, um, this morning I had my avocado and my blood pressure pill. Now I'm just eating, not eating the rest of the day until I get down to Virginia. Hey, why not? Drinking water. My hands, what happened? So I got on the train, no problems, right? And then, you know, so I had my, you know, reading, listening to my, listening to my stuff, you know, my headphones. And um, so I listened to music first, and then I, I said, oh, the Black Authority, looks like you got Greg Marcel Dixon on, you know, the cat that's running against Clyburn down there in South Carolina, with Congress, you know, the reparations is his platform. And I said, oh, Marcel, well, so I, I contribute to his, his campaign like $12 a week, right here, you know, hey, $12 a week. I think the primary is in June, June 22nd. So, hey, if you can, give it to the brother. Oh, well, you don't look, just go to, he's all over the place. Well, he should be all over the place if you know black media. So, you know, he's got the program. I, I'm, I'm with that brother, right? And so, oh, you see my buttons here? Justice first, that's, um, talk about South Carolina. You know, this is a uh, Reverend Leo, um, uh, what's his, uh, uh, Reverend, I just call him Reverend, Reverend Leo. They had this movement called uh, Justice First. So I, I like him. Oh, oh, and look at that. We talk about reparations. Yeah, yeah. Queen Mother Moore. Queen Mother Moore. You don't know who Queen Mother Moore is? Well, this is uh, back in the day, you know, 60s, 70s. I uh, used to hang out with them, or 70s, really. Uh, Queen Mother Moore. Hey, right. reparations person, right? But she's not like, well, Dixon is running for office, so he's really going to do it. I, I hope like that. So anyway, so, so I'm saying, hey, this is really interesting. This, you know, this, this, he's getting out there now. So of course, it's like the, this is going to be a thing where, where you know, the, the black underclass, let's see what we do. I just think that everybody should, uh, you know, give, just give their brother money until June, see what, and if he wins, I mean, if he's Clyburn, that means that, you know, he, that means he's in, right? And you got to listen to this brother speak, because when he speaks, I'm going like, whoa, I mean, he, he, it's like, he, look, they have this thing, the microphone don't lie, the TV don't lie. When you can feel him, you can feel him through the thing. Man. He, he, every time I hear him, he just hits me to the core. I'm going like, brother, go, go, go. Let me tell you this. I'll tell you this. I give him money now. Uh, I got to go to Africa. Be back in uh, August, right? Back to the States in August. Hey, if he's he's running for, for Congress, brother, I get out there and help the brother. I'll go down to South Carolina. That's where my people are from, you know. He's Gullah Geechee. Oh, he's a nice teacher. I gotta get that Gullah Geechee t-shirt. Anyway, this oh, look, I got my Meredith t-shirt on too. You know, so I'm all hooked up there. Oh, of course, I'm gonna show you another button. G2, you see? Peace yeah, and blessing yeah, on this yeah. portal soul. And then had a plaza named after him, so I went, went for that. So, so I'm going like, hey, man, things are happening. But this is so powerful, right? You know, when I end up doing this, I'm just going like, oh, right now I'm listening to some, uh, Seville Cole's, um, you know, a deeper love, uh, uh, old disco tune, you know, house, pre house, whatever you want to call it, like that. So, I, I, I got to decompose from what the older brother, brother was saying. It's on Black Authority, because, you know, Black Authority asks some really good questions, talk about good, you know, politics, really good, right? And so, um, now, uh, for the rest of so it's like three and a half hours to get down here. They got it, it's about, about another three and a half hours to get down to uh, Norfolk, down to Virginia. Well, then I'll try, I guess I'll listen to, uh, get, listen to Narek, listen to a uh, great, great car and Karen Hunter. I'm, I'm not, can I say this? Okay, I shouldn't say this because I don't want to talk about people because I'm not so of your code, man. But you know, they're, they're, they're your regular, you know, uh, I don't want to say shilling for the Democrat party, but you know, they're, they're the regular, what you expect for academics and that kind of class of people. But, but not Greg Marceau, um, Dixon, he, he with the people's. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. Anyway, so I just do like check in with check in right now. Uh, check them, leave this alone. Right, I'll post it some other time, I guess. You know, maybe I get down to Virginia. I just want to get that because it just, it, he was so visceral. I mean, it just felt so good to hear the brother speak, right? To speak truth to power. So let's see uh, if we can beat the Democrat Party with the brother down there in South Carolina. Was that 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 Clyburn that guy? He ain't did nothing for thirty years. He did things against people for thirty years. You know, you know like 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 the Obamas did think does things against black people. Well, that's what Jim Clyburn is, and they all hang out together. Anyway, 
articulate, right? Uh, and just a little uh, something for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. Patterson from the South Bronx. Let me know what I only suspect.